my channel. Last night I went to the Australian press screening for Lightyear and I'm so excited to share my thoughts. Before I begin, I just want to thank Disney Australia for inviting me. It was such a fun event and I had the best time. I loved this movie so much. It was so entertaining and I had a big smile on my face the whole way through. I have no idea why the reviews have been so mixed because the movie was really fun and enjoyable. This is Pixar's Star Wars and honestly I enjoyed Lightyear more than any Star Wars film I've seen. The animation was of course gorgeous, which is to be expected from Pixar. It is just so real that at times you forget it's not. The realistic style of animation was more to my taste also as I didn't love the cartoon style of Luca and Turning Red. I am very happy that this movie went to theatres as it is very cinematic and deserves to be seen on the big screen. Chris Evans does an amazing job as the voice of Buzz Lightyear. He keeps the essence of Buzz so that you don't notice the voice change. Overall, it was a beautiful, nuanced performance with a lot of humour and heart. I also loved the journey he went on throughout the film, which I won't spoil for you guys. One thing that I really liked was how Buzz was really capable and confident. I remember in Toy Story 4, Buzz lost all of his intelligence in order to uplift the female character of Bo Peep, but here he is equally as talented as Alicia. I think that this is the better approach as it promotes gender equality. My favourite character in the film was definitely Socks. Socks is just incredible, he is so cute and so funny. He is now my favourite Pixar character of all time and I am buying all of the Socks merch. I think he has a very bright future at Disney and could follow in the footsteps of Olaf. I was also very impressed with Pixar's first lead LGBTQ character, Alicia. Overall, her sexuality was handled exceptionally well. It was clear she was gay, but it was normalised, which I think is so important. Additionally, she was such a beautiful, kind character, and seeing her life unfold at the beginning of the film was so touching. The Juniors Out Patrol was such a cute trio of untrained heroes. They didn't have the necessary skills, but they had so much heart and determination. Izzy, Alicia's granddaughter, was so likeable. Darby's criminal past provided a lot of laughs, but Mo Morrison was definitely my favourite out of the three. He delivers my favourite joke in the film and it was such an incredible moment, I couldn't stop laughing. They had this awesome scene with Buzz about sandwiches too and everyone's comic timing was on point. Link to the Junior Zap Patrol is a theme of the movie that I personally really enjoyed. Without giving too much away, the movie has the message that experts should nurture and support beginners. You don't have to be amazing at something straight away, the important thing is that you keep showing up and trying your best. The only negative I have is the villain of the film. Now I can't tell you who the true villain is as it will spoil the movie, but it was very confusing and I didn't like it. Honestly, Zerg being an evil robot would have been enough. As for the future of Lightyear, there are currently rumours that the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters will be made over, which I think is a really good idea. Additionally, I think it might be fun to give Space Mountain a Lightyear overlay for a special event. Overall, I have decided to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it, the only negative was the villain, and I highly recommend that you see it in theatres. Anyway, that is all for today. Like